where I do lots of the colour work and things. And so up here, that's all the pigments and stuff like um, malachite and the lapis lazuli. I, I, I get from India and grind it there and bring it back. And then most of the other stuff I get from Germany or, or Italy. And what I grind the marble dust with is slate lime, which is basically this. It's what they um, dissolve bodies in. It can be quite, you know, it's not great for your hands. You get the pigment in here and you there are certain proportions, like for example, three parts pigment to one part lime and you put them in here and then you grind like that. And then once I've mixed the colour, they have to be strained through muslin and that ensures that there are no grit, no bits of grit, no bits of pigment that are, haven't been ground properly. So they're sort of like that, the pigments. Sometimes it can take all day to grind a colour or grind two colours. Again, when these were wet, actually that was like rainbow, but now they've all slightly dried out and calcified. So what happens is you would have to re-grind that and then re-strain it and get rid of the impurities, which is that lime sort of scum almost that appears on the top of the colour. Basically, you have to sample all the colours and dry everything out just to give you an idea of how the colours will be. You know, so I have literally miles and all over the walls and everything, you know, the colour. There are about four four or so different grades of marble dust and I use marble dust and the slate lime and what you do is you put it in there your paste comes out of the sides and the mix that you get is, is, is basically what I use to build up all these layers um, for the fresco. Then you build these um, cast up shapes in plaster for example like that and that's the surface that I grind my fresco process into. So you cast up your shape and then what you do is take that mix, you take literally a piece of wood and I, I trowel it and I trowel it over this having completely soaked and you grind it. The basic idea is that you grind this mix here with colour and you grind that colour onto the block so you build up all these, build up the depth. So you've probably got 12 odd layers of that um, marble dust mix which you've ground three times so that's 36 times you've ground it probably. The marble grains are doing this all the time and it gets incredibly strong like stone. And having used this block which is heavy and rough you start using um, polished agate like this. You're sort of painting the layers on rather than troweling them on and then the final layers are very fine like this and polished because you're using this sort of tool and you're grinding you're grinding that in, then you're wetting it, you're grinding it, you're wetting it, you're grinding it, you're reapplying colour, you know, so you do that again about nine times. And then what I do is I grind uh, coconut, so you get a sort of pulp, and then I heat that pulp up, and basically I make, I make coconut oil, and it seals it, and it gives it a sort of polish at the same time. So to get to what's in that show is two and a half years worth of this, basically. 